Hi boys and girls, welcome back to my channel. It's a beautiful, beautiful morning here in Kota Kinabalu, the capital of Sabah. This video, I'm gonna show you the best food. So I can't wait because I love great seafood. And here in Sabah, they say it's where the best seafood in Malaysia is. As usual, let's start with breakfast. Everyone in Kota Kinabalu shouted at me and said, you must, you must eat the famous Yifong Laksa. This is a very different Laksa from what I know what Laksa looks like, especially West Malaysian Laksa. Huge, huge, huge prawn. Give it a go. Hmm. Hmm. It's pretty good. Lots of bean sprouts. Mmm. I'm gonna taste the broth. So the broth is not as thick as what we had in West Malaysia, but uh, still pretty good. I recommend it. So all my friend has says that this is the breakfast to have here in KK and they open super early in the morning and there's like all the meat, all the pork that you can find, they just throw it into this noodle. They've been in operation for a very long time and there's two types, there's the soup type, there's the uh, dry type. Um, I'm definitely picking the soup because I come all the way here for the broth. Mm. The noodle is thicker than the one you have in West Malaysia, but it's super tasty. Mm, good. Highly recommend. So Jalan Gaya is really the epic center of the food scene here in Kota Kinabalu and one name is very iconic here. It is King Wan Heng and King Wan Heng has been here since the 80s. They've been here since 1984 and they are super super famous for their buns. I had to like wake up really early. All the buns here are handmade at the back of the kitchen. And I really like this restaurant because it has a huge cartoon poster of what life is here, making buns uh, for the people of Kota Kinabalu. They have all sorts of flavors. Uh, they have the steam bun and the baked buns. This is coconut. Mm, this is the buttermilk. Oh. Red bean. Mm. Wow. Mm.
Actoral. Singhang has been around since 1978. This is really one of the most iconic historical breakfast kopitiam here at KK. And I've come all the way for the famous seafood Duaran Mi. It's named after a town called Duaran, which is about one hour drive from KK. There's a lot of eggs in here. Mm. This is my favorite so far. I mean, the choices of food here, as you can see behind me, is really astounding. They open very early in the morning and usually crowded, so come early as well. Kinabalu offers a lot of great places to drink but for me the ultimate place for me to grab a drink is the Sunset Bar here at Shangri-La Hotel here at Kota Kinabalu. Everybody raves about the sunset here at Kota Kinabalu and this bar is strategically built for you to watch the sun goes down. Finally, my prayer has been answered. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the sunset of Saba. There's no escaping from seafood when it comes to Kota Kinabalu and these are the fantastic seafood of Kota Kinabalu and my friends say you have to come to this restaurant and it has a very unique name called Welcome Seafood Restaurant so it's very easy to remember Wow Wow, I think we need, I think I need like two hours to finish this So I'm gonna eat now and then we go to the next place. Thank you. 
this small little restaurant is packed with delicious food. I mean, the restaurant itself has their own menu, but there are four distinctive stalls here. There's dumpling, which are handmade right here. There's the grilled fish, Danny grilled fish, which I ordered. The fish looks pretty fresh. There's the pork satay and also the chicken wing. And all four are must order in this place and smells amazing here. And I think a lot of regulars come here. Mm. Gosh, this is really, really good. I love the sauce. Mm. Those were the food I consumed in Kota Kinabalu, but food is not the only thing I consumed here. I also went to many unique cafes here in Kota Kinabalu, and I'll feature them in my next video. These cafes are really one of a kind, so you don't want to miss that episode. So follow me for our next episode, so I'll bring you cafe hopping here in Kota Kinabalu. Bye!